This video is sponsored by PCBWay. Ok guys, it's time to explain the Objects Link project because until now I have uploaded videos without explaining well what I was doing and the reason is that I'm working alone on this project and I didn't expect the, this interest from you here on YouTube. So I will divide this video into several parts to explain each side aspect of Objects Link. So let's start with the idea behind Objects Link. You may have seen that in the last 5 years more and more devices are connected to the internet, such as house appliances, tools, and things we didn't know exist. And 3 years ago, when I started developing an IoT project, I noticed that more and more makers and engineers were working on IoT project, and in the meantime I was getting several requests for work from private individuals to develop custom IoT devices. So I got to work on several projects, realizing that many of these projects had similar hardware and the most of these IoT projects were ESP32 or LNF based, with the same LDO, same serial bridge, so a part of the circuit was always the same, like an ODMCU. The only things that change in each design were any actuators, sensor display, etc. So, you may ask why not directly use an ODMCU or ESP32 base board and just develop uh, the custom PCB to install sense or whatever? To this question, the answer were always the same. It's uh, unprofessional or too big and so on. Obviously, it's not always so. In some cases, uh, it's worth using an ODMCU, but only for the first prototypes. Then, the ideal will be to find an intermediate solution between a prototyping board like an ODMCU and a custom board base on ESP32. So, the board must be able to perform the same tasks as a board like an ODMCU or Arduino, but at the same time, it must be able to be used in the final device. So what I added to design I had to follow these simple three points, modular hardware, compact hardware and reusable hardware. Now the problem was to combine these three points into a one design. So from this point uh, the Objects Clean project started. Before developing Objects Link, I designed several prototypes to test some core features of the project. This is the first prototype, which is called Objects Link IoT Module Alpha. I developed uh, uh, this prototype in July 2020, and with this prototype I tried to test the idea of uh, hardware with modular architecture. The main problem of this prototype are that their connectors are not suitable for developing a modular design, they are too big, and uh, also vertical modularity or stacking modules is not a great idea if the connectors are not slim enough, and if the system is too modular, the final cost increases, so modularity is useful but don't go overboard with modules. The next prototype is called Objects 1, and uh, I designed this prototype one year ago, in December 2020. With this prototype I solved the problem of the thickness of the connectors, for the first time I used the slim stack connectors and as you can see make the design much more compact. In addition I designed the first flexible cable to extend the modules from the socket and I will explain the purpose of the flexible cable next. So the architecture of Objects 1 is similar to Objects IoT Module Alpha but the modules are no longer stacked on the top of each other more than once so Objects 1 is more a motherboard where you can install a SOC like ESP32, Pico D4 and a sensor. And the last prototype was useful to test the ESP32, Pico D4 and these prototypes were the key to design Objects Link. And after test and prototypes in February 2021, I developed the first version of Objects Link. The new board had to be modular and compact and reusable. 
And here you are Objects Link 1.0, you have already seen it in a previous video on this channel. And the last month I developed the new version like 1.5 and 1.6, always based on ESP32 Pico D4. I also developed two versions based on the new ESP32 C3 RISC V, which are as follows Objects Link 1.6 C3 as an integrated serial bridge like the previous versions, while Objects Link 1.7 C3 directly use the native USB of the SOC without serial bridge. And also I added an external 32 kHz crystal oscillator for RTC. This way, in deep sleep mode, Objects Link 1.7 C3 draws around 10 micron pair. In addition, it's possible to connect an external debugger tool on all Objects Link versions. Before showing you how the board works, I have developed several official modules like a temperature and humidity sensor, time of flight sensor, external PSRAM module, gyroscope, IoT button module, flexible cable, socket to integrate objects link with an external PCB, and many others. Ok, now let's see how objects link works. First of all, objects link is only 24mm in length and width, and as you can see, all versions of objects link have the USB-C connector, and the tiny battery connector and the reset button. Objects link 1.6 is the only one that integrates the RGB LED. In the RISC-V version, I didn't put the RGB LED to reduce the consumption of the board, because every nanoampere is crucial for IoT. So, in the bottom side of the board, there are the four slim stack connectors, that constitute the two relative sockets M0 and together they compose a single socket M1. By M0 and M1, I'm referring to the sides of the modules. I give these names to distinguish the two types of modules. So, this means uh, that you can install up two M0 modules like this, or you can install only one M1 module like this button. Because the project is open source, you could design your own modules even bigger or smaller, you are totally free to do so. On the bottom side of the board, you can see two pads dedicated to the battery, so you can decide to connect the battery using the connector on the top side of the board, or you can use these pads, or you can connect the battery using slim stack connectors. I will explain how to do it later. Objects Link 1.6 and 1.7 C3 have two voltage dividers to measure the battery charge level and VBUS status at the USB-C connector. You can program all boards with Arduino framework or with Expressive framework or with MicroPython. I suggest to you to read the official documentation of Objects Link to learn more about it. Ok, but how do you use Objects Link? Objects Link can be used in the same way as an OdemSU or a board like Arduino. This is possible using this special module called the Protoboard. As you can see, you can develop your prototypes very easily. If I need to work on more prototypes, I can use more protoboards and only one objects link. This way, I don't have to disconnect the cable every time I need to work on a different project. With other boards, it's not possible to do this, or it's very tricky. It's also saving a lot of components and resources, because producing an objects link is more expensive in terms of resources and environment impact. So, up to here Objects Link is like another board with some advantages like using more protoboards and one Objects Link. But the things that is different about Objects Link from another similar product is that Objects Link is designed to be used on advanced prototypes and in the final devices. It means that once you have developed the prototype on the protoboard, you can design the custom module that integrates all the components used for the prototype. Here is an example. As you can see, I first developed on protoboard this simple smart button and then I designed the module. So the prototype becomes a module that together with Objects Link become a device. This is the basic idea of Objects Link, image to design more complex projects. You can also decide not to design the modules and buy official ones like this, or buy them from another users. 
Another advantage of Objects Link is that it's reusable. For example, if a device using Objects Link breaks down, you can easily recover or replace the modules or Objects Link and bring the device back to life. Currently, it's very difficult to repair smart devices because they are not designed to be repaired easily. So, Objects Link can be used in several ways to design prototypes and IoT devices. In the future I plan to develop more modules to better show the power flow of Objects Link and especially to show the usability of the board. Also, in January I will sell some kits on Tindy. Thank you for watching this video until the end, thank you again PCBWay for supporting Objects Link project, you can find the link below to order your PCBs for only $5 and see you next time!